Welcome, Ms. Joy from NET. She is situated in Nakuru. Our main activity here is on the day farming. We have like the three milkers. We have ten rye. We have ten in calf heifers. We have about fourteen winners. We also have about twenty bullings. And we have seven calves. This group is milkers. These are the high high yielders. They are 21. We have row yielders on the other side. They are 12. Our total production currently is 850, and our average is normally 28-29 liters per cow per day. Our main feeding is silage, that is maize silage. We have hay, that is bomarot. We have fonda sorghum, fonda millet, and kikuyu grass. The average feeding we do is uh, 24 kgs of silage per cow per day. Bomarot, 3 kgs per cow per day. Fonda sorghum, 2 kgs per cow per day. Kuyung grass, 2 kgs per cow per day. So, in the case of concentrates, the cow is fed according to production. But for the fonda, we feed them uniformly. We also feed them with mineralic, and we also mix our own mineralic, 250 grams per cow per day. We also have clean water, fresh clean water from our borehole. We feed them through drinkers so they drink on their own we have automatic drinkers i'm a dairy consultant in nutrition and animal production um, what we are in our lusan field at joy farm and one of the main challenges in kenyan farms is a source of protein fodder for our cows and as you can see, right now currently behind me, you can see that uh, Lusan is in high competition with Kikuyu grass. And probably the next season it will be overtaken completely. Though it's a good challenge and it's a good issue because also Kikuyu grass provides protein. And one thing we usually advise farmers is the stage of harvest of Lusan. We usually say it should be about when 10% of it is flowering. As we can see here, we have the wilted Lusan and the fresh Lusan. And also we advise farmers that if they should, uh, they should try and manure as much as possible to ensure that you get the required or the recommended protein amount. Otherwise, if not, then we'll just have a feed that gives us fiber and very little protein. And yet our main problem is protein in our farms. I am a dairy consultant. And uh, here at Joy Farm we are talking today about uh, young stock management. The reason why we are looking at weight gain is this will determine how early or how late we are going to inseminate them and finally when are they going to calf down. Average growth rate that is expected especially for host fishers, should be 700 grams uh, per day. So that means if they grow at 700 grams per day by, uh, by 15 months they are already inseminated then at exactly two years they are calving down. When they calve down early, then they should be able to uh, produce more and you, you have your return on investment early. Growth rate of uh, young stock is very important. And uh, the reason why it's important is because we need our calves to grow uh, very fast. At Joy Farm, the average growth rate is 800 uh, grams per day, which is uh, within the agreed rate. Most of the farms on average in Kenya, we are doing 450. So calves take up to two years before they are inseminated. So measuring the calves every uh, fortnight is, is, is important because then you can be able to monitor uh, the growth rate. That will uh, guide you again in terms of uh, feed management, that they have to eat uh, very well. They have to get the best uh, nutritious feed uh, from the farm then they are able to grow uh, faster. For silage, we usually look at a few things. We look at the chop size 
and you can see that this is a very good chop size and even when we are mixing together with the other forages the cow will not be able to select so this is a very good chop size and we can even see crushed there are some crushed kennels this is just one kennel but there are some crushed kennels inside therefore this means it was whole plant uh, silage then we check what is the color this is good quality color it's supposed to be golden brown and this is what we recommend it's a bit golden brown then for the dry matter what you do is just take a handful and if you had good breakfast make sure you try and press as much as possible and if there are no drops coming out if there are some drops coming out and this silage you see there are no drops coming out means that this silage is above 30 percent dry matter so our our silage we don't see anything any liquids coming out if you see any liquids dripping out then that means it's 30 percent and below dry matter in dry matter but even the hand is not wet or moist there's just a bit of moisture just a bit of moisture so this silage we would recommend we would say it will be between 30 and 33 percent dry matter or 30 and 34 percent dry matter and if you don't feel any moisture any moisture in your hand then that is silage above 35 percent so for this silage we would put it feeding it into the ruminate we put it between 30 and 35 percent dry matter the smell it has a good smell there's no sharp smell the smell is sweet acidic and this is what the cows like and joy farm have been using ruminate ruminate is a ration formulation software this software helps kenyan farmers and farmers all over the world to be able to formulate a simple but cost effective uh, diet for their cows and so we can start now feeding the data that we found from the farm work into our software with the help of my colleague Julius I'll be able to start film, uh, feeding in the diet the data we have collected we start with the first thing we are using uh, a diet where we are formulating a diet for our dairy cows so that is the first thing we select we select our dairy cow then we look at the live weight what was the average live weight of the group that we are doing? That is the early lactation. We, we have put 600 kilos and there is a the drop down you can be able to choose. So we feed in 600 kilos live weight. Then we go to days in milk. Average 60 days. We do 60 days. 60 days and definitely it's not pregnant yet. Then the average milk production or milk yield for that group 28 liters. 28 liters. Sorry. 28 liters. Then the milk fat. Milk fat we do 3.7. This is a guesstimate. Our milk yield or average milk yield for this group, that is the early lactation group, is 28 liters. You can just type it in or you choose to select the up menu. Then for the milk fat and true protein, milk true protein, most farms do not know the exact estimate or the exact milk and milk fat and milk protein. But this farm, the processor they give it to uh, usually tests. So for the farm, they have 3.8 for the milk fat and 3.2 for the milk protein. So we have put 3.8, 3.2. Then for the DMI estimation method, we usually use NDF. And since these this cows are zero grazed, we reduce the distance walked to zero. And since the terrain is flat, we usually select flat. 